what would be that one really unsexy thing that every entrepreneur needs to be thinking about so they can live that sexy life down the road? I think it's not sexy when people don't dig you. And if you're going to be an entrepreneur with a new idea, you have to persuade and sell and do all of these things. And a lot of people aren't going to like it. And you have to, you know, keep the energy positive and not get down on yourself about that. It's like getting rejected, right? I mean, if we're going to extend the metaphor here, like if you try to go on a date or something like when you're young and you get rejected, 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 find the mindset and the discipline not to let that bother you. So keep that passion and no matter how many times you get rejected and tell people what you want to do and understand that a lot of them aren't going to like it. That's the first part of it. The second part is a lot of them aren't going to understand it. And, you know, when you live and breathe with an idea and think about a problem that you care about, you get an understanding that exceeds almost everybody else because you're studying it and reading about it. So you meet somebody on the street or in a meeting, they, they haven't done all of that homework like you have. And you'll fill in the gaps in your mind and make assumptions that they understand things and they just won't get it. And so that can be very frustrating when people, when you're not understood, it's almost like the, um, the Cassandra, you know, like Troy and the war, the Peloponnesian wars and Greek classic mythology, Cassandra was cursed with um, Zeus made her able to see the future. And she told everybody the future, but part of the curse was nobody would believe her. And it just was a torturous life for her. I think entrepreneurs need to be ready for those two things.